hey, hey, what's shaking? <laughs> what's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day so far, so good. It's a beautiful day if you're seeing me because God has purpose for you and me today, and it's a beautiful thing to be alive today, to be a part of this something so special as God's plan and being a part of His kingdom and spreading the word, spreading hope to everybody. And um, it's just an amazing experience to be with the Lord and be walking with Jesus and Him being my friend, my Lord, my Savior, my God, you know, that uh, left heaven to earth to come down to save us. And we thank you, Jesus, our big brother, our Savior, and we thank you, Father God Almighty. Yahweh, we love you. Yahweh, the only way. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's amazing to be alive today. I just... Um, been going through a rough spurt, guys, you know, battling off the demons, man, you know, and uh, I was trying to do it myself with a couple elbows and punches, but spirits can't feel elbows and punches. <laughs> Had to call on the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit power to make me Jesus strong through Jesus. We get the strength of God through his beautiful Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us, leading us. An amazing, amazing thing to be a part of, guys. And if you don't know Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior out there and you're watching one of these videos for the first time to see what this crazy Polish guy from Baltimore City is doing these days. Well, it's serving the Lord, guys, and um, just not serving myself in this world, um, being a people pleaser. I'm trying to be a God pleaser each and every day, and I come up short, missed it by that much, like the guy from Get Smart used to say, And uh, but God forgives me. We're covered under grace. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And uh, we just keep picking that cross up. When we fall, we pick it back up and keep pushing forward. Great example back there, that cross up there is when Jesus fell down, it was because he was weak and, and from all the sin, the heavy burden of sin, you know, um, makes us weak. But it showed with God, Almighty, we can have Jesus' strong power, God, because he called on Father God, we call on the Holy Spirit, God's very presence living within us. And now we have all the power we need to pick up our crosses when we fall from them heavy sins or just burdens and worries and concerns of the day and the attacks of the enemy. Jesus made it to Calvary. We also can make it to Calvary. But I'm going to get into this study today. It's just a little um, out of the daily uh, devotional, uh, the faith of faith. It's beautiful and it's amazing. It's helped me on my walk and journey, and I know it's going to help you today. Um, your first and highest calling. Uh, we're going to go to 1 Corinthians 1 9. And while you do that, I'm going to take a sip of coffee. A little bit of coffee, baby, and a whole lot of Jesus. <laughs> and like my cousin Joe says in uh, Australia, Cheers, mates. <laughs> I love that. Oh, man. He says, put a little shrimp on the bobby. I say, put a little Jesus on the bobby. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah, man. It's awesome, right? Oh, man, I love to laugh. Who? Somebody said, being a Christian ain't no fun. I said, you, you, you're hanging around the wrong Christians. Because <laughs> with the Holy Spirit, boy, woo, you, got the, you just feel good every day, man, you know. And times come when I'm crying, too, guys. But I get back up, put that cross back up on my shoulder, and I keep walking because I call on the Father God. I call on Him and ask Him for that help. He sends it. I lift up them burdens, whatever sad me today, you know. And whatever's making you sad today or depressing you or feel, making you feel hopeless, lift it up to the Father God. He'll take it from you. Lift that heavy burden. Ugh, get it up to Him. The Holy Spirit will give you that strength to push it up to Him. He'll take it. And throw it away. And now you're free. Woo! Yeah, you can dance a little bit. I can't dance. But uh, it's all good. I still try because I like moving around for Jesus. <laughs> Woo! And um, it's just all about having fun, guys, and, and, and being that child of God, having that childlike faith and just enjoying yourself. Yeah, we're adults. we got to act like adults in certain situations, you know, of course. But don't ever be afraid to express yourself. Have fun in front of a camera, in front of people, you know. And it's all about bringing a smile to somebody's face. It's not glorifying you. Um, it's glorifying God and the joy and peace that he, he, he brings to your life no matter what we're going through and no matter how bad Satan says you can't dance like he tells me all the time but I still like doing the dance yeah for Jesus go Jesus go Jesus go <laughs> it's great man it's so much fun man it just gets you over that hump of feeling funny about things and then it's like a roller coaster ride <sighs> yay right so we're going to get into this, guys. I'm acting a little crazy this morning, but it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> it's, it's just great to be alive, guys. And yeah, today ain't going to be easy. I already know this because we're in a battle, spiritual battle. But you take the good with the bad and the ugly. And it's never such a, never, um, never a bad day when you're walking with, with the Lord because even when it's bad, it's good because he's trying to teach us something, okay? So we're going to get into this. Just keep that in mind. Through every trial and tribulation you go through today, somebody screaming in your face or someone didn't call you on the phone, they're all situations that, that you need to call on God right then and there. 
And this is what today's study is about. So here we go, guys. It says the first and highest calling in 1 Corinthians 1 9. And I'm reading out of the King James Version. Uh, Nelson Study Bible is what I work out of, which is a beautiful Bible. Um, it's just it's just amazing. Um, it's helped me so much. And uh, verse 9 says, in um, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 9 says, God is faithful by whom you were called into fellowship with his son Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen to that. And the study note says on that, I'll read this real quick. Um, it says, because God is faithful to his word, Paul, um, Paul was confident that even... The sin plague Corinthians would stand blameless before him. The blameless does not refer to the Corinthians' works, but they're standing in Christ. They're just in their justification through Christ. So it doesn't matter what we do, guys. You know, we're saved by grace because of Jesus Christ on the cross. He covered us with his beautiful blood, man, to wash our sins away. So when God sees us, he don't see that sinful person, you know, we were born into this world as. He sees this beautiful son, Jesus, who covered us, man. Don't mind me, I'm going to cry because Jesus is special to me. And he's one of my best friends I ever had in my life. And I always ask God, please let me live to be like 100. I just turned 50 last August, right? Praise the Lord, right? Every day's a birthday, right? Go, go birthday, it's a birthday, it's your birthday. But every day's our birthday, right? Every day's a new gift gift of life. Like we just came out of your mom's womb, right? Every day getting out of that bed is the same feeling. It's like, oh, I'm alive, it's new. Every day is brand new, and God has placed things and already planned this day out for us. And how are you going to handle it? Are you going to try to handle it yourself, or are you going to call on Father God? We were children, we called on our parents, right? You know, cut our meat. Oh, I need help with my homework. Tie my shoe, right? Don't be afraid to call on God today. We're adults, but we're still children in the spiritual realm. We're adults in the physical world. Yeah, it's great. But when Satan's attacking your mind... We can't handle nothing, man, because you know why? We're flesh, and we need God's spirit to battle the other spirit, and God's spirit is almighty over the devil's little tiny spirit. God's the big fly swatter, and Satan's a little fly. <laughs> Break out Jesus. He's our fly swatter today, and just smack that fly away. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to get into reading this, guys, and it says, uh, here we go. Glory be to God. This is a Holy Spirit-inspired message, guys. I'm just here um, as a messenger of God and, and just a humble servant, man. I'm just a regular guy like you guys, a regular men and women out there, broken, that God puts puts back together, man. You know, my heart was broken, and God put it together back with his love. He, he stitched it up, man, and now i got a heart, and I'm happy, and I have joy and peace. Yeah, I get sad, but God, don't make it easy. He makes it possible. If not, I'd be laying in my bed. You wouldn't even see me. You wouldn't even know who I am. But God gives me the strength every day to get up so I can shine for him because he lives in me. He who lives in me is greater than he who lives in the world. And he can make you, He can fix your broken heart too, guys. Just ask him what you need and he'll give it to you like any good parent would, will reward his children. So here we go. We're going to get into this. It says, do you know that God wants you to do more than anything else today? He wants you to fellowship with him. You know how we call our homeboys up, our homegirls, you know, hey, what's popping, what's shaking, right? Call on God the same way, guys. Give him that attention and then put other people next. God first, other people second. And watch everything fall into place, okay? Give give God a call. He's on the main line. Jesus is on the main line. <laughs> it says, um, give him a call, right? Talk to him to discuss the things of life with him. He wants to draw near to he wants you to draw near to him and partake of his very nature. So many of us get caught up in striving to please God and things we do and forget our first highest calling is just to fellowship with Him. See, God don't want God don't want perfect works out of us, guys, and, and great deeds. Yeah, that's great. But faith is faith is talking to God and fellowshipping with God. Make Him your best friend today. Before you pick a phone up, before you get on Facebook and complain or need help or this, go to Him first. Go to Him first. And everything else falls in place. He just wants us to spend time with him like any father um, would want his child to spend time with him. You know, it's, it's just how it goes down. If your father was in the house and you never spoke to your dad, imagine your dad or your children today that run back and forth with their telephones and don't even care about you. They're running in and out or family members. It's hurtful feeling. That's why he wants our attention. He gives us everything, guys. Give him your attention first today. That's right. God longs for us and wants to be and wants to be with. He wants us to be with him. Have you ever considered how much it would mean for you to just come to God and say, Father, I didn't really come to get anything. 
I prayed about my needs already. And your word says that they're met according to your riches and glory by Christ. So I just came to you. I came to be with you. If you have anything you'd like to tell me, I'm ready to listen. I want you to know that whatever you see, whatever whatever I see in your word, I will do it. I will put put your word in effect in my life. Why don't you tell why don't you tell that to God today? He's waiting for you to fellowship with him. See, when we read our Bibles, guys, it's beautiful, you know. When we wake up out of bed this morning, you know, I said, Father God, what do you need me to do? Here I am in front of you guys. This is what he needed me to do. The last thing I wanted to do today was to do this. You know why? Because Satan was putting lies in my head. It's going to be a bad day. You're never going to see your family. You're never going to see your daughter again. All these lies, you know. But I told Satan, I prayed to God. My prayer went up. It doesn't come back, back void. You're a liar, Satan. I know your tricks, and you don't have any power over me. Because you remember Jesus? You remember that guy? <laughs> you remember this guy in my shirt? He was stronger than you that day. And he took the blows for all our sin. And he took your power from you, the keys to death. And you have no more power. The only thing you have is a little lie you put in people's heads. So whatever Satan tells you today, it's going to be a bad day, it's going to be a good day. Jeremiah 29, 11 says so. Go look it up. And Romans 8, 28. Both of those scriptures confirm that every day is planned by God and it's meant for our good, not for evil or to come against us, come against us in a good way, but not for our evil, but to come against us to make us stronger, more wiser, more loving, more caring, more courageous, more bold, to be more like Jesus. So every day is planned out by Father God for us, by him, so we can be stronger, so we can take on the devil and crush him and the demons, so we can shine and spread the gospel like Apostle Paul, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. All these great men and women as well, Sarah, and um, just all these great women, and men and women in the Bible, guys, you know, that God took, broken like me, broken like you, weak, scared, afraid, no, no confidence, and God just gives you all of that. He gives you all of that. And then you're walking around, flexing on Satan, flexing on him now. You're not like, ooh, the bully's coming, Satan's coming, and you listen to him and bow down to him. No, no, no. We flex on him now because we got Jesus strong. We got the muscle of God in us now. We got the spiritual muscle, the spiritual power to crush any demon and any devil that comes our way today. One devil and all his little demons, right? The same ones that got kicked out of heaven. God kicked them out of there. He can kick them out of your life today. You keep that in mind, guys. Well, I love you very much, and I hope you all have a blessed day. I just go to, go to you in prayer, Father God, Holy Spirit. We feel your presence. Hallelujah. And Father God, I just come to you in Jesus' precious name. We thank you, Jesus, for making this possible to be communication, in communication with our Father, to have this relationship today with you, Father, to come to you and talk to you about anything, any small or big issue, Father, you can handle because you created life, you have the answer to life, and you're bigger than life because you created it, Father. You're just so wonderful, Father God, and we love you. And I just encourage my brothers and sisters out there, Father, I ask you to touch them with the Holy Spirit, to guide them, to call to the Holy Spirit, not be distracted by politics or this evil act of hate over here by whatever color person. It doesn't matter. It's just hatred. Hatred. Racism doesn't exist, Father, but Satan's hatred on people, no matter what color exists. And he's the one that can cause of all this, not any group of people, but one devil that you kicked out of heaven, and we're going to kick him out of our lives today, Father. And I ask you to bless my brothers and sisters with the Holy Spirit today, Father God. It's We'd be reminded where the power source is to have victory. V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. We got the victory in Christ. Father God, bless my brothers and sisters out there today with safe, safety, joy, and peace in their lives, for their families, for them, Father God, to lead and to be shining lights in our communities, in their households, in their communities, in our country, to shine the love of you, Father God, in us, and Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, to shine in this world, Father God. I pray for the homeless, the hungry, the sick, Father. I pray for all our brothers and sisters around the world, Father God, that are suffering, Father, because we simply love you. We simply love you, and we're guilty of showing love and trying to do what's right, and we're guilty of that in this evil, wicked world where everything is the opposite of you, Father, where bad is good and good is bad, Father God. But we're going to keep pushing forward. We thank you for the almighty, beautiful Jesus, our beautiful Lord and Savior, and the beautiful spirit that we receive, the comforter that gives us confidence and hope, Father God, and, and you're, you're leading our way for us where we don't need to fight because it's your fight, Father God. Thank you so much for this beautiful day. We pray for our president. We pray for every, every good person out there fighting a good fight of faith, Father God. And we just ask you to bless them and just keep us under your wing, Father, your mighty wing, and 
you just keep us protected, Father, this day to do your work. And we know we just have to call on the Holy Spirit for whatever we need. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, guys. I love you all. I salute you, soldiers of God. And you get out there and keep fighting a good fight of faith. Remember, when you run out of steam and muscle and courage and love and forgiveness, call on the Holy Spirit. He'll lend you whatever you need to get that victory, the V-I-C-T-O-R-Y, today for the Lord and the kingdom of heaven. Let's keep fighting there, soldiers of God, in the kingdom of heaven's army. And we got this, guys. You know why? Because God's got us. I'll talk to you soon. I'm going to lean up on here. I don't have a fancy remote control like most of these YouTubers do. <laughs> I'm kind of ghetto, you know, from the hood. But uh, it's all good, right? Don't matter where you're from. As long as you got Jesus, man, you know, it's, it's all good, baby. It's all gravy, baby. <laughs> God bless you. Talk to you soon. Peace.